All right, guys, welcome back to another reaction video. My name is James. I'm Nobu. And today we're going to be watching Daredevil Season 3, Episode 2. Um, so last episode we left off with uh, Matt is in even worse of a place than he was when we started this season. And and that's saying a lot, seeing as a building dropped on him at the beginning of the season. True. How's it <laughs> getting worse? He's in like a... A really bad mental spot it's sure. the destructive everything like that um and then we also have fisk uh, like bribing this fbi agent we had this really interesting like ending of the last episode and and it seems like fisk is bribing this guy so i'm i'm really excited um i i remember a few things from this season but not very much so i'm excited to to see like kind of the context of all that kind of stuff mm. um but yeah as always fully interested to be up with the patreon the next episode episode Three is also going to be up for early access if you guys want to go ahead and check that out. And yeah, thank you just for being here. Thank you for joining us, for watching. If you're new here, welcome. And let's just get into Daredevil Season 3, Episode 2. Yeah, I'm worried for Matt. I, I Yeah. He's just in a really bad spot. Yeah, it's like his whole everything was based around this, it feels like. Whoa. It's actually kind of weird because it's almost like F Fisk is Fisk is finally getting a chance. Yeah. What? Ooh. Yeah, what? <laughs> Jeez. Yeah, what exactly? How exactly is this going to go down? Oh, they busted a like a gang. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So then, Fisk must so, be given the. Yeah, he must be just be giving him info. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And okay. that way he can. Okay. And may, maybe even. I wonder if this is also helping Fisk. Probably will. You know, in the same way that he used Punisher. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, they probably came to some sort of agreement, like he'll help him and you help me. Thank you, Wilson the Fisk. There's a gift that's gonna keep on giving. Oh, and they don't even have to hide. Shoot. I didn't even think about that. Well, he can, that's his whole He purpose, can admit right? that he's like talking to the FBI. Yeah. I, I was I was thinking that um, he was gonna be giving him info on the download. Wait. I mean all the stories go, right? Like if you're um If you're gonna be a rat. Yeah. Yeah, but look at what he's benching, bro. <laughs> but Oh, watch out, bro. Watch out. Why am I rooting for this? Yeah. Oh, jeez. Oh, no. Dang. Oh. Is there no one else? Watch out, dude. Oh, jeez. Don't, don't, you'll get more time if you kill him. Oh. Oh. Dang. Wow. I bet you it is. I bet you he wants to get out. Yeah, probably. You're right. It does feel like both of them are struggling with, um, you know, stuff now. That yeah. They've done what they wanted to do. Now it's like, well, now you gotta struggle with what happens after. I like little moments like that too, uh, with Fisk, where you kind of remember that, like, he's not just the, the smart guy villain. It's like, dude, he's he just no, got yeah. stabbed in the stomach and was unfazed yeah uh it's just really cool why did you go last night hey don't pull that crap with me what happened? i mean i feel like this sister might might be his his best hope you find a guy who wasn't even trying to hurt you and your brilliant next move is to go out and pick another fight well i think that that's telling give yourself time to heal Yeah, but he's that was never so done cool. That. I have a special gift too. I'm impervious to bad attitude. <laughs> you can throw yourself pity and bullshit at me all day, Murdoch, and I'll still be standing right here. Yeah, but what if it's more than self pity? What if it's like self hate? You feel like being a nun is what you're meant to be. What if you couldn't be one anymore? Yeah. Hmm. Your point being that if we can't fulfill our calling. We might be better just, off as well. Yeah, your life is yeah, over. But that's like a self-defeating, because it's like if you can't fulfill your calling, then it's not your calling. Lose faith. I don't know. I, I don't know about purpose. that. 
Yeah, like by at least by her worldview. I understand what it's like to feel lost, Matthew. I left the order for a while. I was considering a very different life. Hmm. I struggled to know which life God wanted me to choose. And it's the difference between us. You no longer care what God wants. Hmm. I, I just love this. Like all of these conversations, everything. It's so interesting. Yeah, it's very you know philosophical. It's very philosophical, feeling. and I, I understand both sides. Yeah. And... Sister Dora turned me in, didn't she? Hey. This has to stop. I didn't know he knew. How many fights have you been in this week? How many guys complained? None. <laughs> so admit they got their butt kicked by a blind kid. <laughs> yeah, that's that's your best protection right there. Argumentation is a skill. Being argumentative is a sign. Mm. A sign like you're angry, Matthew. Or maybe it's a sign that Sister Dora should stick to teaching math. <laughs> <You're> <laughs> maybe both. <laughs> but you're gonna have to deal with your angry, Matthew. Well, if that's God's plan for me, then I guess that's how it's supposed to work out, isn't it? God gave us free will, Matthew. Yeah. I pray all the time. I've been praying for years. God doesn't talk to me. Burning bush business doesn't happen very often. <laughs> He's usually more subtle than that. Yeah, I mean, maybe it's just God, Matthew, not the answer he wants. I don't know. Because he speaks in whispers. It's tough. It's it, it's a very tough sort of situation. Of course. When you see the way Ramsey and Aranori are kissing Hatley's ass, you're going to lose your appetite. <laughs> They're in her office right now. Doing what? Hatley gave me this raid. Taking credit? Oh, no. no. Come on. Somebody's got to run Fisk full time. Oh, well, but, right? well, well, if Fisk won't talk to anybody else, who cares? That's true. Once again, this show is genius. It's got me rooting for this rant. I, I feel bad for this guy. I do. Yeah, honestly, I feel like he, he just got to he's just got to do him, you know, at this point. You want Fisk detail? Hmm. I can't. Dozens of agents had their shot at fist. None of them got shit. Yeah, I mean, it is kind of only fair. It's true. Out of this ray, and I'm going to make sure DC knows about it. Yeah, but it doesn't matter. It. I put you on fist detail. Your file is required reading. I've got a boss, too. Mm. And he's got a hard on for agents in financial holes. You told DC that none of this could have happened without the unexpected connection between me and Wilson and, Fisk. And that is kind of true. I mean, it's the truth. Right? It's it like, I don't truth. think he's going to give stuff to other people. He's yours, but you need to keep him talking, Ray. I got this. Yeah, because you need to keep providing so that they don't even care, of right? Yeah, because if if he talks to him, Rostam Kazemi, mean anything to you? Our favorite I... character in all of these shows. Hmm? Actually, he's a, his daughter, mean one on the heiresses of Manhattan. <laughs> Not that I watch that kind of crap or anything. But... <laughs> sure, Karen. Anyway, he and his uh, daughter were attacked outside a restaurant last night. And he's... The coma on a riverbank pond. What? Was that the, uh, Maybe, right? maybe. You should give TJ that story. He watches her show. He'd love it. Oh, it's, that's great. That's, that's nice. I'm, I'm giving it to you. <laughs> it's not done yet, but I just, I'd like to stick with it if that's okay. What? Oh, no. Is it like Matt stuff, uh, kind I don't of? No, what is, yeah. I feel like it's Matt stuff. There are reports of respiratory illnesses among residents of a particular city block. Wait, which what? particular city yeah. block? The building. Oh, yeah. shoot. There's still a lot of questions about that night that we don't have answers for. You think the answers are right here? I don't know. Maybe. I, I think it's just her way of not letting go. Yeah. Right? Even like though it's not literally connected to Matt, it's her way of, of yeah. grief or not, not giving up. The, the work you've done on this reporting, the writing, it, it's excellent. It's great. I'm even maybe a little bit jealous. <laughs> <laughs> and I thought that... You might be able to empathize. Yeah, know? like yeah, Karen, come on, you gotta Karen. understand. It, it, like, it, it, it's you're. That's a little because you're that's condensing a little personal. it to what it isn't. Yeah, yeah. it's another thing to let a story work you. Hmm. Dude, the best man. Every boss should be love like that him. character. Every boss should be like him. How the hell did you let this happen? Don't try to pin this shit on us. He's mm. your snitch. Yeah, but they didn't protect him, man. I feel like it could be kind of hard to protect him in here. You gotta keep him in like some sort of separate. That's true, but the, but maybe they can. I, I don't know. I mean, word is out. Yeah, that's a Everyone big issue. Knows. Yeah, and Eddie, but even if they're even if he didn't, some inmates it seems they know I'm cooperating with. Yeah, them. even if he didn't talk about them, they'll still try and kill him. 
You want us to help Vanessa clear herself of criminal charges? You need to continue to deliver actionable information. He's basically losing power, essentially, kind of. Yeah, but I... I'm helping you to help Vanessa. I can't do either of those things. Yeah, it doesn't matter. I think you need to remove him. I mean, it's good that he at least is, is up and, and has some of his hearing back. Gotta keep paying them. Or they'll come for Mindy. Let's go home. And she's offering a big That would be crazy. Their lawyer's no damn good. That's a really cool that I feel like that was his like motivation, you know, I used to listen to people's prayers. I thought that God let me hear the prayers so that I could answer. Yeah, but I am not what I was. Can't do what I used to do. Give it time. Yeah, I feel like I feel like we don't have enough perspective yet on 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 what the kind of right way is. So now you believe you're calling to do what you do was a mistake. I was deluding myself. I think it's reasons for doing it. Maybe it's time for you to stop. No, father. Uh, yeah, I think he's questioning my delusion was that it was God. God. Yeah. yeah, as opposed to the, the calling. Yeah. I'm daredevil. Not even God can stop that now. I don't know what to think of that. I don't know if that's better. Yeah, I mean... Because that's a that's a, a, a dangerous me, place I'm, to I'm be in. for a dry cleaner. You're sure it gets awkward. I'm actually looking for a different place. Uh, <laughs> See, I got a whiff of their delivery van last night, and it didn't smell like this, you know, uh, not like uh, chemicals. I know the place. And he's going to go get those guys, right? Yeah, yeah, I don't know, I don't know. I, I'm i just concerned because I feel like, and I mean, we talked about this even in Defenders. It's like one of the things that kept Matt grounded was his willingness to kill. And I'm not sure if that was tied to his Catholicism or not, but I'm, I'm concerned if it was, let's say. Karen Page, not to be a bitch, but I don't want this in the papers. Get it, then go. It's kind of her job though, it's a... You think just because you don't want this to be in the papers that it, that it won't be? Make up things that sound good to them. And yeah, that's true. Yeah, but I mean... It's rough. You talk like you know what this is. She might. Maybe I do. She kind of does. I learned that anything I say, anything at all, you people will turn it into whatever you want to anyway. Understandable. Believe it or not, I really do know what you're going through. But people said that I killed my brother. Hmm. When Kevin died, everyone wanted to know what happened. And I wasn't like you, you know, not, not paparazzi or anything, but it's a small town. Yeah. So just... Feel, maybe feels the same. Maybe it isn't, but feels like that. It feels like the entire world knows. Yeah. yeah. It was all bullshit. I thought about it for more than 10 seconds. It didn't even make sense, but... Yeah, people didn't think about it yeah, for more than 10 runs. seconds. Yeah, that's what runs. Once the story got out there, it stuck. And the things that they said about my family and about me... Throw her Taurus apart. Jeez. The truth can't be worse, can it? <laughs> well, I mean, it's at least a chance. Yeah, but she wants to get the truth out there. Yeah, it's worth a try. And she's going to tell her, though. She's going to tell her about the um, Matt, right? Was it them? I can't. I, I, I thought it was. Okay. We were at dinner. Was it not? We were trying to patch things up, you know? I can't quite remember. If, if it's completely either. not, then I messed up. These two men grabbed my father. They tried to put him into this van to kidnap him. It feels like the same, right? No, it is. Yeah, that is. So. We only got away because the other guy attacked him. What other guy? You said there's another... There's another... Uh-oh. Oh, no. Oh, shit. A black mask over his face. Bro. Risks imprisonment will continue at a private location under the constant supervision of the FBI. He was shanked by another inmate. Yeah, but yeah, yeah on, he's, a, he's a, he's a, he's a. That wasn't proven in court. Yeah, whose fault was that? We put on a good trial, five counts under Rico, and that was a giant. Rico. Oh, that's true. We're, we're dealing with some politics here. We can't prosecute everything Fisk is giving us at the. Well, like just like if they, you know, trickle down. Yeah. Let people's. Fisk's intel leads to the biggest crime drop in a decade. The guy's a piece of shit. You're right. Ooh. Oh, this is gutsy. Let's talk about the Albanians for a minute. Four dead NYPD officers. Twelve more riding deaths with disabilities. Dang. And even after five task forces over seven years to the tune of $11 million, we got zero. And you took them completely down. With Fisk's intel, we beheaded the Albanian syndicate in one day. But New York is safer tonight because of Wilson Fisk. 
I feel like he, th there part of him at least is being honest. If we keep him talking, Fisk will give up others. I mean, this deal will. Save. Regardless, that's so true. It though, is. like, <laughs> tell me you're not going for this. What? They're not going to give us an answer to that? Oh so, my gosh. This oh my, really? God, this show, man. Oh, hey, what? it's his, uh, the butcher shop. For, remember he was like yeah, saying yeah, like. Yeah, yeah. Hey, 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 something bad better not happen. You hear me? Listen, Brian, there's something I need to talk to you about. Your father's arthritis gets some Aww. worse every day. I'm sorry. Isn't there anything they can do for it? Oh, they're going to ask him. Oh no. He needs to be on a beach, not slinging meat in Hell's Kitchen. I know. Wait, you but... guys just have a life. Oh no. It's time you came home. Your brother loves this place, but Theo can't do it. Oh, that's so that's rough, so hard, dude. bro. But like... that's, a, that's a decision I wouldn't ask anyone <laughs> to take, make. You're a grown man. Just think about it. That's all I'm saying. Okay, that's, fair. So... that's fair. But it's... that's that's also the, like the hardest it's decision so ever. It's so hard. It's almost like. Hey, Pop. Hey, you want a glass? Damn sure he can come to chat. <laughs> <laughs> and that's Foggy's dad. You know how proud of you I am, Foggy? You're a big deal. Which is what you always wanted. Ever since you could talk, you went around telling people that you own the store. <laughs> I got it, Pops. I got it. Oh, man. Slotcha. This is so rough, Foggy's bro. too this is, good. Like, he I just get love Foggy. Ah. Those terms guarantee my safety. Beyonce has fewer demands. <laughs> this way, convict. Okay, so that, that sounds like you're laying it on a little too much there. What is gonna happen here? I don't know. This is the way that they're shooting. It makes me feel like they're like coming to a like a, a head. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, you want service? You gotta get in line, man. Yeah, come on. I'm, there's no way these guys are like yeah, 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 <laughs> just yeah, working yeah, yeah. the laundry. <laughs> like, hey? yeah. Oh no, actually, I just ran in because your clothes smell so good. So <laughs> you got a, a flyer? Not in Braille. I I, I got seeing friends. Yeah, you don't gotta be it. Have a coupon. Hmm. Thanks, I, I, I appreciate it. Oh, the <laughs> finger. <laughs> that cut, man. I can he do this? It's gonna I be rough. <clears throat> And once again, why is it? Is it? Does he really like? Is he really doing Daredevil because he thinks it's good, and he's just like rejecting God? Or I think it's very complex. I exactly. I think there's That's a lot what I'm of saying. It's not things. as simple as he's back to being Daredevil. But I feel like it never was simple to begin with. You know what I'm saying? So fair. Ooh, they got a police scanner in here. Is he gonna overhear something about Fisk? Oh no, probably they wouldn't. Never mind. No, it was, the, the FBI's got their yeah, own. Yeah, never yeah, mind. No way. I forgot it was FBI. What? Oh, oh, this place is stacked. Look at this. Look at all the equipment. What? Is that the, where they were gonna? Because they were kidnapping people, right? This equipment is not just for yeah. that kidnapping. This is. Oh, you better be careful. I hate this camera work. Oh. I like that we saw him turn the lights off. You. Ooh. Oh, sick. Oh. Come on, man. Bro, you can't take these kind of hits anymore. Use the taser again. Shoot. I love the cinematography. Oh, watch out, watch out, watch out, bro. Did they got guns? Oh yeah, true. Watch out! Also, be careful. Like with the amount of equipment, I'm worried about how big this is. I do gotta say, it's kind of cool seeing him in the OG suit, oh, just cool. slinging street criminals. Like, yeah, I like to report an assault. I didn't see what happened, but there are a lot of guns here. Maybe some kind of robbery. I mean, there's a lot of guns there. Thank you, Theo, for taking over the shop. 
You were always getting the prizes and scholarships and shit. <laughs> anyway, you can't make a sandwich to save your ass. Okay, maybe he can do it on his own. Maybe he can help with the business. Go do what you're good at. You live in the drink. Yeah, but he doesn't want to... Yeah, he doesn't want to abandon family. Matt and I talked a lot about what we do, help people, get rich. I was the get rich part. He was the help people part. <laughs> when he was around, I knew who I was. Matt was a good guy. Slauncha. I gotta say, I don't know if it's it's the haircut or the suit, but Foggy's looking great, man. Hey. Oh, shoot. Oh, he's gonna tell him about this the... Is... Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh my gosh, this Dude, is just this is not, not what we need. Foggy has to deal with so Freaking. much. You know, devil suit. No, no, but he, but he was wearing a black mask. Foggy but it could just be a copycat. So not be anybody. Hell's Kitchen is ground zero for vigilance. Yeah, but and also because he did so much, it totally could be a copycat. And I told the reason. You know how I know he's gone? Because he hasn't talked to him. If he was really still alive, he would have reached out to us. I mean, not to get all weird and artsy, but... Maybe Matt isn't really alive. Now, don't you want to take a minute and just be absolutely sure that that's not your best friend out there somewhere? Yeah, but you gotta like. He's dead. <sighs> See, I actually it's... agree with Foggy in this case, yeah. even though that, sh even though Karen is actually right, right? Yeah, because because with all the evidence they have, that's the right call, man. Yeah, it is. You can't, you can't no. cling to it like that. It will destroy you. You have to. What the? You. I better not see Karen walk in here. <laughs> the men who did this are in police custody for another crime. You head down to the 15th precinct right now. You can identify them. Thank God for you. I don't know. I can help you. <laughs> I do. Yeah, expect as much. <laughs> I'll be under the strict supervision of my team. You will not remove your ankle monitor. Why are we not in like a... I think we should have more armored of a security system. Why are we in an SUV? Regulated schedule. I mean, I unless these are like armored vehicle like SUVs. I don't think they are. Like, why don't we have we don't like even an have a barrier, bro? I've alone for many years pretended that this is the source. Oh no, bro! Remember the last time you started monologuing like this? Achieved a great deal, but I was not fulfilled until Vanessa, till I discovered love. <sighs> Build a prison of stone. And steal. You merely present the prisoner with a challenge. Oh, that doesn't sound good. Truly determined man will find a way out. But love. You can't get out of that? Yeah. Because it's because, you. Because who you're wants not to. determined to get yeah. out. Yeah. And if these things help me protect Vanessa, then they are nothing to me. I will do whatever I must. That's I cool. Mean, that's admirable, man. That, right. that, 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 obviously, I'm not condoning anything else he's done, but that's admirable. That's sacrifice right there. Oh, yeah. It's oh, what the frick? What happened? Did... Is this him? Nadim! What's happening? Maybe somebody who's mad that he snitched? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You might right? Be because right. Yeah. he looks like he, it looks like this is not him. Yeah, I, I thought for a second it was him. Shoot, bro. Is he strong enough? Oh, 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 okay, but we still gotta get out. What is this? It's like a war zone. What? Are we in the I middle of this, New York? The sound design is so well done. I don't think staying in the car is going to do anything at this point. Yeah, you guys are all dead. It's a hard team. Oh, it's the gang. It's the Albanians. How is he going to get out of this? Oh, oh. I mean, if he can't get out, they can't get in yet, at least. Unless they just I mean, blow the car up. Yeah, they'll just... Get a that gun, get something. Happen. I feel like you gotta get ready. That's what he's doing. Yeah. Do 
John Wick over here. Who is that? Looks like one of the agents. He's got an FBI vest on anyway. But why? It's weird how he's going to take on a lot of these guys. There's going to be something special. <laughs> Bro, he didn't use a full magazine. What the? Ooh. What? Who is he? Uh, I like how Fisk is... We have a third party or something? What's going on here? Convict. Don't move. I mean, hmm. see, it doesn't seem like it. Sorry. I mean, uh, he's definitely something. You better watch out, bro. All you need is Karen to walk into the hospital and you're screwed. Well, or anybody that used to know you, you know, <laughs> like. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. The FBI just let Wilson Fisk out of prison. Uh -oh. <laughs> a lot of a lot of storylines happening, you know? Yeah, 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 yeah. Which excites me. It's like, all right, all right, we're back. We're weaving the web here. Yeah, yeah, and I like that we're um Kind of continuing Fisk's storyline because I, you know, I think it would have been cool to have another villain also, but I, I do also like um, Fisk and his whole dealings with Vanessa. And we there's, haven't concluded that there's yet. There's like a weird poetry to it, mm -hmm. especially since we're we're like dealing with Matt too, right? So like it's almost like after all the defenders and stuff, it's like we're back to basics, but different. And and I don't know why there's a beauty to that, but like it it somehow it fits perfectly with Matt, who's also dealing with like you know belief in God or his doubt or even his identity as Matt mm -hmm. and all these sorts of things. It just feels perfect that the villain that we're dealing with is Fisk. Yeah, I mean, it feels right. Yeah, it j that's just all I can say. It, it, that sounds kind of vague and cheesy, but yeah, I mean, the way I look at it is kind of like Fisk doesn't care what he is, kind of you know. As long as it protect, protects Vanessa. He's not struggling to get back to where he was. But like, you know? I think he has more purpose than Matt does right now. But I that's what know. I'm saying. He doesn't... How should I say? His purpose is more important than who he is. Which is so interesting because the whole, you know, first season arc was all about Matt, like, like rising above to beat Fisk. Yeah. It's like he, he, he had a stronger sense of purpose and himself. And that was able to defeat Fisk against all odds. Yeah, but I, I I think that, you know, as for right now... He's looking weak, man. Well, yeah, I mean, he's looking... Well, yeah, he's definitely looking weaker than before, um, physically and mentally. But I want to see, like, what his... Yeah, what his new sort of, like, drive is going to be. Mm. Um, because if it's going to be a selfish drive, then it's probably not going to be able to truly overcome Fisk, especially when Fisk has something outside of himself that he wants to protect. Yeah, see, so that's that's what I keep going back to, and we're going to get back to our glorious Daredevil conversations here. Mm -hmm. I keep going back to the, and I, I'm going to paraphrase it because I don't remember what it was, but he said something about, like, I'm, you know, he was like, I, 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 I'm not even subject to, like, God can't stop me from being Daredevil. Mm-hmm. And my only fear, whether you believe in God or not, like the idea of God is that there are, there are greater things than you, right? Uh -huh. There is something outside of yourself, something to live for, something to die for. And I am afraid that that adopting the philosophy that, like if he doesn't have something outside of himself, like what you're saying, I don't know if that makes him a hero. I, I, don't, I don't know what kind of person that makes because, because the, these ideas aren't just like, set right like a philosophy is not like a it's not like a it's like a living thing right and it shapes the person mm -hmm. uh, and so i don't know what kind of person that will make matt and and in connection obviously daredevil whereas fisk strangely has something outside of himself and he is willing to sacrifice for that in in and like i was saying even then i was like dude it, whether you like fisk or not like that kind of self-sacrifice is admirable. That's cool. Yeah, uh, that so, is admirable. 
So um, I, that, you know, you know what I'm saying? I don't know if you can, because just like how I don't think you can call, you can't call Fisk a hero, right? Regardless of how admirable he is. Mm-hmm. Um, Maybe you can't call Daredevil a villain. I don't know if you can call, like, say, even, like, I still think he's doing it for the good, even if it's mixed up a I little bit with things. Yet. Because it's like, well, what does he think is good? What is the good? Well, I, I don't know. I, mean, I, I feel like he had such a... I, and I'm not saying he's wrong. I don't think he's done anything wrong yet. I'm just concerned because I feel like his moral code is what guided him through some of the toughest of times and the toughest of decisions and not killing and everything like that. And just like we you know, said even about the whole Punisher debate about whether to kill or not, it's like mm-hmm. I'm afraid that when you let go of that code, um, what he might become. And I don't know if I don't know if the path, and I'm not even sure if he's taking this path, but the path of of becoming a force and, and like leaving your humanity behind to become a force for justice, to become the daredevil, and that's it, right? Like like to get rid of Matt and just be daredevil. Mm-hmm. I'm not sure if that's the right call, and it, it feels like maybe he's doing that. I don't know. Like just in some of the writing stuff and stuff like that, and you have Foggy being like Matt is dead, and and uh-huh. and Matt would come and talk to them, and and I can't help but think maybe Matt would, and if he wasn't in this like dark place, yeah, he, he wouldn't do that, and so maybe it's like maybe Matt is gone. But I feel like for him, you know, I, I do feel like for him to truly become a hero like without having any sort of um like baggage essentially he does need to give up the almost human side of him you know because i mean this is the thing is like maybe he can't you know he is still human sure right and so because of that he has been kind of worn down you know yeah. Um, despite being good at what he does, he's been worn down because inevitably he will have to choose between living his sort of like normal life and becoming Daredevil, right? Yeah. Because in the end, it'll always be targeted. It's like there's no getting out of it. It's a, you know, it, while it can be a source of strength, it is honestly oftentimes a big weakness, right? That's true. I guess, I guess my my only counter to that would be that we don't know how much of a strength it is until we've given it up. And that's a, that's a huge gamble. Yeah, I feel like this you is the thing. Saying? It's like... Where it's like it, 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 to, to, only, to truly really know what kind of a strength or weakness it is would be to completely cut ties. And those ties cannot be... You know, humans, it, it's, it's not like you could just... It, it, you might be able to fix it, but it won't ever be the same. Like even now, if Matt and Foggy find out that he hasn't come to them... Mm-hmm that relationship will never be the same that's damaged forever no of course and so uh, that's just what i'm afraid of is that it's like i get it and i i do know that there's a strategy to it and i think that maybe that will help him to be a better hero but we just i guess i'm hesitant because i'm saying we don't know what we're gonna lose and once we lose that there's no going back yeah uh i just it's just tough because right now he's in a very in his specific case Mm -hmm. like i'm not sure what he should do essentially because um you know maybe for other people i think it's fine for him you know for this person to like you know give up this side of it or maybe not do certain things but in matt's case like it's hard for me to kind of predict like okay how much if is he doing this because of his past has he not gotten over certain things Mm -hmm. right Mm -hmm. is he kind of frustrated with life um and you know if that's the case then and he's only doing it to take out his anger on people like how i feel like we've gotten some hints at that in like the first yeah especially the first the first thing against the the kidnappers yeah so in this in that specific case it's like well then maybe being a hero is a lot more it's a lot more of like a venting thing rather than a heroic thing right in matt's case yeah because this is this is almost the first time we've seen him come at it without asking what the right thing to do is right because his whole kind of monologue was like this is the only thing to do and so it's hard to know why he's doing it because i don't know if he knows why he's doing it 
I mean, I feel like I think he's, he's just doing it because he feels like that he 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 feels that there he has to. That is part of him. Because he might be doing it for people's good. But, right? but like I said, I don't even know literally if he knows why. I don't know if he's thought it through. I because I, it almost just feels like he's just it, it it's a non negotiable. It's like it doesn't matter. I have to. I have to do this. I feel like there's a there is a sense of like understanding something, right? And um, I feel like back then he thought like when he heard these prayers, right? He he looked at it as a as a like an outside force that sure. was telling like him that he yeah. should do this, right? The whole calling thing, yeah. right, about God. Um, but it's almost now he comes to this sort of like this sort of almost realization of like okay this isn't my calling and so i can't look at it as something like how should i say like it it's going to work out no matter what Mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying and so now he's just like everything's on me kind of thing you know what i'm saying sure and so he's going at it from that perspective which he can still you know, be a hero, essentially, right? I mean, because, you know, there's... Sure. It doesn't mean that, you know, he's not a hero, but no. my question is it, is that, like, is that the only... Is he truly thinking of it just like that? And, like, uh, the, the, the other thing that I... Like, what did the flashback mean? Right? When, when he was a kid, it showed him being a kid and talking to the priest. I, I'm always going to forget his name, but he's the only priest in the show. So the priest, uh, it starts with an L, Lantern or something. Yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, when he was outside, right? So the other flashback is like, oh, he's listening to people's prayers, right? And that perspective mm-hmm. of like, okay, I thought that this was God's calling. And yeah, yeah, yeah. that, you know, God's not calling me. Um, but in the first one, he was talking about arguing with one of the sisters uh over like like a uh, philosophical point and like saying that he beat her yeah 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 and being pissed about it and the priest being like it's not about whether you could beat her or not like like you're angry you're you're dismissing you're great at arguing you're great at doing this thing um well, and and it wasn't really like resolved like it was kind of like and so i wonder if that's an allusion to to perhaps that's what he's doing or it's like it's very it, it, it just because Matt has a reason or a way to uh, kind of uh, win in a debate or an argument or a conversation or in his mind or whatever, mm-hmm. I, I don't doesn't mean that he's not doing it because he's angry or hurt or for another reason. Well, at least, yeah, you know, I mean, which is what the priest was saying, kind of. But I, so f- I wonder if that um, kind of is anything towards. Yeah, his headspace. I, I do think that right because he was saying that the sign that sign of um, it was him being argumentative. Yeah, was a sign of like, you know, it's like he's taking. He, he was anger. looking for something yeah. almost, and he was kind of like yeah, a little bit venting or like deflecting some stuff, right? Um, yeah, which can be the case, and it's like, but the thing is, he was saying also that like he was, you know, he had been praying kind of like, and he didn't. He didn't get any answers, kind of like, and it was the same thing as like this sort of um, frustration. Uh-huh. He had this like frustration of um, someone else not doing something for him. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. he has, because of this expectation, he is frustrated, and he he can. It's almost like it's a source of this frustration, right? I just wonder. If it, 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 in a similar way, it's like he, like he, he argued with the sister and he, and he was able to beat her. And so he's like, oh, so she's wrong. And like, I'm giving up on this belief or whatever. Like she can't even prove this thing. And I wonder if he's doing something in, in this situation similarly, as opposed to because he's so hurt, which is under physically, mentally, everything. It's completely understandable. Like I'm not, um, he's, he's, he's almost swinging the other direction kind of out of anger as opposed to looking at the the wide array of possibilities in between you know in between just like just like uh kind of almost (laughs) no pun intended like blind faith Mm -hmm. or complete like rejection of of god or any greater purpose 
it's like I I feel like there are just so many options in between, and of I, course I wonder how like if and why he hasn't looked at those. But do you not think that he he still believes that there is a greater purpose? But I don't know if he does really. And I I'm not saying that he doesn't. Mm-hmm. I just actually don't know. I feel like he still does believe in a greater purpose, but he he thinks that he has to actualize that as opposed to it being like given well, he, to him from God. Yeah, I feel like he he thinks that now he, there's no reason to be frustrated because there shouldn't be expectation. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because no, he's that's still true, that's true. technically doing the good thing. Is it? Yeah. But he's not like... If you're not doing it for the right reason, though. Yeah, I mean... still No, it's still a good thing. There's still merit to it. I'm never going to say there's not merit to it. There's merit to it. You did a good thing as opposed to doing a bad thing, and that's admirable. Yeah, I just got to understand. I, I kind of want to understand more clearly his reasons. Because he can say... It's super interesting, though. And and I feel like there's a lot of stuff where it's like he's saying one thing, but I don't know if that's actually what's happening. Yeah, because well. if he's actually like, well, no, <laughs> I got to take this into my own hands and yeah. like, you know, do the work, then I'm like, oh, okay, I, I get it. But I feel like he's very conflicted on a lot of things right now. Yeah. And he I, always has been. <laughs> yeah, and, and and you know, we just I just don't know exactly what's going through his mind. So yeah. I feel like we gotta. So we'll see. Wait, but really quick, also, what the heck was happening at the end there? Like, so the Albanians came back. I thought it was a big brain chess play where like Fisk wanted the FBI agent to go after the Albanians because he knew the Albanians would come back. But I don't think it is. No, bro. He seemed completely. Either he's like he needs an Oscar. Or he was completely surprised. And then there was this random FBI agent that I showed up. I think it up. was the same one that you were saying, who said whatever, convict. It was the same guy. What do you mean? Remember when he was like, get in the car, convict? And you were like, oh. Oh, he's is like, he? He's like trying too hard or something. Yeah, was yeah, he yeah. the guy? Almost positive it was. It's hard to tell because there's blood okay. all over his face and stuff. Yeah, I couldn't quite tell. Um, but I think it was the same guy. But he seemed legit. Because they even said, even the cops said when Matt heard them, Oh, they're moving him to the safe you know, house. He's been attacked, but he's still going to the safe house. But I mean, he might be legit, but like, come on, like, what's up? Like, how did he just like one one v ten all these Albanian ga- uh, guys? Well, he that, plays like, a lot of Call of Duty. <laughs> must have, bro, or something. He like freaking. What did he do? He like threw his like. He threw two knives at them at the end. Oh, he threw two knives. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, he, I was like, he, what he, were one those? of the dudes in the neck. It was okay. The filmmaking of that was incredible as well. Sorry, I know we were talking all philosophy here, but the filmmaking of that whole thing, oh, yeah. where it was like in the car instead of showing it, was sick. I loved that. I loved how they did all of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I agree. And I also like seeing Fisk be very like. It was almost like he was at the mercy of them, you know. And um, after he got saved by that dude, he was like on his knees, like, "Okay, I'll just do whatever he yeah, wants." Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think it's all because of Vanessa. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, which is super interesting. That's. <sighs> Yeah, I'm, I, I'm, I'm very hyped. excited. I still am so sad for Foggy. Please don't <sighs> yeah. take over the freaking. Uh, I just I feel like if and when he finds out about Matt, ah, uh, I just don't even want to see that, dude. I know it's. So I don't want to see up. that. Like, I go. He's already over it. Like hearing then... him be like, Matt would never do that. It's it's Matt. Of course he wouldn't do that. And, and then like, he might no, blame himself Foggy. for not believing in Karen. Like, oh, oh my gosh, dude, <laughs> the man. Just be a lawyer. Enjoy your life. <laughs> oh my gosh, you're awesome family. Anyway, I don't know. We'll see. Um, as always, Philanthrax is going to be up at the Patreon. The next episode, episode three, is also going to be up for early access if you guys want to go ahead and check that out. And yeah, thank you just for being here. Thank you for joining us, for watching. If you're new here, welcome. Hopefully you stick around. And if you do, we will see you all in the next video.